It's been five years since Bluff City Theater came to Hannibal with a single production on a moving city bus. In that span of time, we've created 21 productions featuring 125 artists to the stage, including some of America's best and brightest regional talent. We've worked with directors from across the continent. We've tackled important and controversial issues. We've also made you laugh and cry and sing along. Five years ago, we set out to prove that quality professional theater could survive and thrive in Hannibal. And thanks to hundreds of people like you, we've done it. Bluff City Theater is now recognized as one of the Midwest's most exciting and promising young companies, critically acclaimed and peer-reviewed for our high artistic merit. More and more actors, directors, and playwrights seek to work with us each year because of our interesting production choices and the great welcome our city gives to our visiting professionals. Now we're excited to be mounting our 2019 fifth season in this Hannibal's bicentennial year. We've chosen the American experience for our season theme because, in many ways, the experience of Hannibal is the experience of America. Our season features five great new productions, including two world premieres commissioned by us expressly for this anniversary, plus an amazing bonus concert featuring one of America's most celebrated troubadours, Tom Chapin, a three-time Grammy winner and brother of legendary Harry Chapin. So sit back for the next few minutes as we give you a guided tour of our new season. Our season kicks off in March with the interrogation of Nathan Hale by Captain John Montresor of HRM Expeditionary Forces. This historic drama by David Stanley Ford examines the underpinnings of the founding of America through the eyes of 21-year-old Nathan Hale and John Montresor, a cynical man who seeks to understand why anyone would willingly choose to leave the British Empire. Directed by A.S. Freeman, who gave us last season's The Sunset Limited, the interrogation of Nathan Hale is a tense and sensitive drama about the last hours of one of America's first patriots. Over the last five years, we've looked at African-American history through plays such as Best of Enemies and Having Our Say. The season's second play examines the issue of American slavery from the perspective of a white woman of privilege who was one of the country's leading abolitionists in the years leading up to the Civil War. Fanny Kimball was already a celebrated actor and essayist when she met and married her husband, a lawyer in Philadelphia. Only later did she discover that he was a member of the largest slave-owning family in Georgia. Shame the Devil, an interview with Fanny Kimball is set in Kimball's fashionable New York salon shortly after she has divorced her abusive and controlling husband. Appalled at the condition she discovered on a visit to her family's plantation, Kimball has made it her mission to abolish slavery in America. In an ironic juxtaposition, her fight for emancipation of the slaves mirrored her own fight for emancipation from the misogynistic culture of the times that made even her, a famous, successful woman, a second-class citizen in America. Shame the Devil reminds us of the often thorny path America followed on the way to becoming a beacon for the downtrodden of this world. History comes home to Hannibal and the first of two world premiere productions this season. Local playwright Clark A. Cruikshank, unfinished The Last Fireside Chat, teams up with author and Hannibal area native Greg Andrews to adapt his book, Insane Sisters Are the Price Paid for Challenging a Company Town, into an exciting new work for our stage. In 1903, Atlas Portland Cement Company built a plant in the small hamlet of Alaska on Hannibal's southern border. 
In 1910, when Molly Heinbeck inherited her husband's tract of land that formed much of the future town site, some of Alaska's political leaders and others sought to overturn the will on the grounds that she had exerted undue influence on her husband while he was in the advanced stages of alcoholism. The Insane Sisters chronicles an epic seven-year legal battle that consumed Molly and her sister Euphemia and a host of community leaders, politicians, and legal institutions. Told through the lens of Mark Twain's Wry Wit, this is an important local story about how the battle between individual rights and the greater good intersected with gender and class to shape the history of our community. Our fourth production of the 2019 season promises to be a completely new experience for Bluff City Theater audiences. The almost true and truly remarkable Adventures of Israel Potter is a brand new comedy written by Joe Bovaco and Larry Hosler, based on the novel by Herman Melville. It's a satirical romp through American history performed by a talented troupe of improvisational actors in the Commedia dell'arte style. On the eve of his wedding, Simple farmer Israel Potter is conscripted into the newly formed Continental Army of the United States, then volunteered by none other than General Washington onto a brigantine, which is promptly captured by the British. Imprisoned by England, Potter escapes, only to be stumbled upon by Mad King George, who takes an immediate liking to young Potter and promotes him rapidly into his service. What ensues is a madcap series of improbable events featuring an array of notable personalities that all conspire to prevent Israel Potter from achieving the one thing he most desires in life, to return home to America, his sweetheart in his small farm. Herbie Barnes will direct this production, and our 2019 Artist-in-Residence 2018 Princess Grace Honorarium winner Eric Lindsay will star as Israel Potter. Our fifth and final production of the season is another world premiere, a brand new musical by BCT musical director Colin Healy. With four published musicals to his credit, including last year's St. Louis Fringe Festival surprise hit, The Gringo, Colin is a rapidly emerging talent, and we're extremely excited to have him working with us on this project. Based on actual events, Madam is the story of Eliza Haycraft, who, according to family history, after falling prey to the charms of an itinerant salesman, was shunned by family and thrown out of her community. She single-handedly paddled a canoe downstream to St. Louis, where, illiterate, lacking any skills, Haycraft turned to the only vocation available to women like her, prostitution. Within a decade, Eliza became the most successful madam in the city and one of the richest women in the territory. As a leading philanthropist, uh, with an emphasis on Civil War widows and orphans, her estate was valued at over $26 million in today's dollars. News accounts of the day report that 5,000 people turned out at her funeral, and yet, even in death, she was still shot out of polite society and banned from erecting a marker on her grave. Madam is a lively and lyrical production about standing up for oneself as it explores misogyny, hypocrisy, and class in mid-19th century America. Now, this production will feature the BCT Young Company in supporting roles. Madam is PG-rated, with some mature content not suitable for a very young audience. And finally, because of the success of last year's presentation of Ed Asner in A Man and His Prostate, we are pleased to welcome acclaimed folk singer Tom Chapin for a series of two concerts in February. Chapin is the brother of Harry Chapin, who wrote the music for last season's Cotton Patch Gospel. Co-author of many of his brother's best-known songs, Tom Chapin now tours the country solo and is a member of the Chapin family. A three-time Grammy winner with over 20 albums to his credit, Chapin is best known as a children's entertainer, and one of his two concerts in Hannibal will be a family concert, followed by another for mature audiences. Tom Chapin will perform his original work and repertoire from the Harry Chapin songbook. Now styrofoam is bad last a thousand years. I'm packing peanuts more than ever did. 
disappears. So crumple up your comics when you ship your chandeliers. Cause comics are biodegradable. Bio As a special treat, he'll also give us a couple numbers from Cotton Patch Gospel, One, accompanied by our two, own cast and young three, company performers. Go. We're excited to give our young performers this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to appear on stage alongside this nationally acclaimed recording artist. Top seats for this concert will cost $42, but we've reserved the best seats for our 2019 season subscribers. As part of your subscription, you'll pay just $26 for reserved front row middle section seats. And that's our season lineup. 2019 promises to be an exciting year for Hannibal as we celebrate 200 years as a city in America. Each year we try to raise the bar and give our audiences something new and innovative. We hope you'll enjoy what we've got in store for you this season. Subscriptions are on sale now. Get all five plays plus reserve seats for Tom Chapin for the low price of $125. That's a savings of 30% off tickets purchased individually. Buy online at www.eventshannibal.com or call the box office. Oh, man. How nice is that?